Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So in, in the last episode, we continued on and I spent way too much time playing because I forgot to check the timer. In this episode, we're actually finishing up Action Force. It's pretty much guaranteed at this point, unless I seriously screw up. So, these guys are weak to primarily wind, so let's just use wind. They're weak to nothing else that he has but light. So I guess they'll just try to finish this one very successfully. Thank you, no legs. Dang it, missed. Now it heals and gets Berserk status. Whatever. Let's kill it. Is it weak to ice? Yes, it is. Water again. And it's dead. Thanks to these crits. We actually got enough rainbow gems now to... Oh, right, we still need glass. What we can do is we can use red feathers to upgrade this. And then magma samples. And we need six more dragon scales if we want to keep upgrading that. So we're not going to do that currently. So we got red LED, lights up your world. Iron ore, as well as blank CDs. Bug wings and turnips. Headband randomly gives brave status to the player, donut, and chocolate. Cake, cherry, and a rock badge increases earth and tired resistance. Uh, let's give him that. Yeah. Here we are, a battle with two bears. What is this guy weak to? Poison and dark. Poison, you say? These guys are weak to a lot of things. Not a lot that he has, though. Wow, Matt's not exactly useful here. I mean, he can at least buff. Might as well take on the take out the ads. And he finally has his limit break, as does she. Them dogs are buffing each other, we need to put a stop to that. I forgot that they can do this, plus 30% to evasion. Okay, that's actually really troublesome. Uh... Let's kill you. And fire on you. Dang it, evaded. Hey, go away. I figured that was about to kill. Okay, is there anything he can do? I mean, the simple thing he can do is use coffee. That's the best thing. Not enough. And she's dead. And she's dead. Whoa, body slammed by such a beast. I know I'm wasting all my coffee like this, but I want them all to be alive to get the experience. Thing is that I know what's about to come up, so I don't want to use... Okay, good. Good. Heals for 200, so that can make Natalie survive this. 
buff her and heal Anna. Done. Ouch. No eggs missed, of course, because why wouldn't he? Okay, because I didn't get a crit this time, that means he didn't go berserk. I'm gonna try to buff her back up to the max she can be buffed. And keep on healing. And he actually missed. Alright, time to get him to go berserk. More crits is always nice, as well as the extra damage. And fire damage. That was dangerous. <laughs> okay, never mind. Not necessary to do any of that. Because he went berserk on us and tried to kill us, and then Matt just said, no, how about you die instead? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wanted to check one thing out this last, not this last screen, but two screens ago. I wanted to go back in this building over here. Okay, yeah, there's nothing behind the building there. I just wanted to be sure because I have a bad habit of skipping over things like that. So what I need to do is I need to run through each area at the end of them and see if I can find anything by clicking on absolutely everything. So I think I'll do that later. Alright, can't go back this way because I don't have an axe. I wonder if we're gonna get one. You can flee most battles at any time, but at no cost using the flee command. You can then come back when you're better prepared. Hint, hint, you may want to do that here. So this isn't the boss of the area. It's just a really tough foe who will give you a lot of trouble. So, I'm going to buff Ana and burn away this foe. Always get rid of the ads. I got dirt in my mouth and my eyes. Blah. Alright, heal up Natalie. The Earth Golem, level 9, a powerful foe which uses Earth attacks. 3000 HP. It is weak to bombs, ice, and water. Okay, yeah, that's what I was remembering. Yeah, we're not going to take on this enemy yet. Because whenever he does that attack, he will insta-kill one of your party members. It's not a true insta-kill where it doesn't matter how much HP they have, it's just if you haven't beaten the boss of this area yet, it's essentially insta-kill. You're not high enough level to survive that attack. There he is, the Mighty Oak. Thanks to him, the part of Ashwood Forest is still green. It's not just another monster, it's huge. Is it even safe to go near it? We're going to have to defeat him in battle to earn his respect, and then he should be happy to help us out. He totally thrashed me last time I was here, but I think this is going to be alright this time. Well, he's a, well, he's a tree, so I guess we should get our fire spells ready now. Fire spells? It's almost like I was preparing a certain weapon that uses fire. Yeah, I actually was doing that. Don't don't worry, guys. I'm not just talking out of my rear end. Okay, so poison for her. I'll switch over to the wind element because I don't remember his resistances. We need a silver point. Not quite gold, but still pretty valuable, if we want to upgrade that further. We need a bunch more dragon scales, which you can get if you want to respawn all the enemies. We need one more wood. I think I'm going to go find some wood before we actually fight this guy. Have you tried summoning your creatures yet? Summon the points are used to summon creatures. Summon the points are generated by defeating foes and are shown in the big red bar at the bottom left corner. How can we make our summons stronger? They don't even level up like normal skills. 
A summon creature's power is determined only by the summoner's level. Buffs and other factors won't have any effect, so they're pretty consistent like that. AKA, yeah, they're good. They're just not, like, super broken. Summons are incredibly useful things that I don't use often in this first area, at the very least. Because we have a Wind Elemental 1, aka No Eggs, which I do use. I have him summon all the time, things like that. And then we have a bunch of ones like uh, the Coal Bat, which I don't use because no enemies are being too dark here. Liquid Ice, a rare form of ice only found in warm climates. Yeah, we just got Liquid Ice. Also, that took less than a turn. The enemies never got to attack. There we go, so got a soft wood from those, uh, idols. So I need two more Linky Roots and five Geodes. Geodes are something you don't get in this area, though, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so we lose nothing by actually switching to this. Actually, we gain accuracy. I mean, we're not as resistant to water and bombs anymore, but the boss, I'm pretty sure, doesn't use those. And this doubles the power of HP and MP healing items. Alright, let's do this. Alright guys, we need to put up a good fight and show the Oku's boss. Okay, these guys are weak to poison, so we're gonna keep using this. Check out all the ads. They're also weak to wind. I think I'm gonna up your attack. Don't die, Anna. I don't want to be the only girl in the party again. Wow. Um. Hell. That's not what I was expecting. Let's use the limit break. Okay, this will heal her for 600. So we're gonna do that. Yummy! Here we go, now he's poisoned. So let's figure out what he's actually weak against. You choose her turn to do this. Okay. Mighty Oak, a huge tree golem which uses earth attacks and protects the forest, summons wooden idols, red bushes, red wasps, and fluffy bats. It's weak to poison, dark, fire, and electricity. Crap, it's not weak to wind, it's resistant to wind and earth. Um, I wonder what I'm about to do. I wish I could upgrade this more, but I can't. Let's buff us and nerf him. Moe. I'm not smiling on the inside, by the way. That was humiliating. What? Thanks for trying, no eggs. Okay, so poison, like I said. Uh, buff her attack. Heal you. Okay, that's not good. And we don't have any more healing items. I'm gonna give up on this take of the battle. I'll be back. I need to hit and get some more healing items, and I think I'm gonna grind them up one more level. Just in hopes I'll get some good items. I'll be back. Let's buy that. Alright guys, we need to put up a good fight and show the old oak who's boss. Actually... Let's use... How do these guys feel about when... They're all weak to it. Yeah. 
buff you. Kian. Because I need those buffs and nerfs on them right now. Watch out, he's all buffed up now. Right, it doesn't nerf them to begin with. That's unfortunate. What's that? Whatever, let's try Bamboo Trap. Not bad. Um, buffing Matt. And summoning... Let's use Colbat. There we go. Okay, I'm glad it missed. And I'm glad all the random effects are happening. Bimbu Trap again. And let's hit it with a Cleaver. Wait. I forgot to change his sword. Alright, let's scan him. I should mention I reloaded my save before, so I would have my uh, things back without having to grind them up. Son of a lumberjack! Alright, let's heal up with her. And clear. guy's heavy. Her strongest attacks barely knock him back. Alright. Fireball. Oh, and I should have healed. Really should have healed. Alright. Um. Sure, it's fine. Probably. Hey, if I defeat foes of fire, they're already be cooked and be ready for eating, right? No power in the verse can stop me. No! Okay. Heal everyone. No, wait, that's not the right one. Uh, yeah, heal everyone for 400. That, ew. Matt, don't be gross. Keep on buffing her up, that way... You know, she's actually able to help everyone. Pretty sure that's going to be the most useful spell in the game. He can shoot his arms? Was cut off guard there is all. Um... Fire on you. Use heal more on everyone. That's rather unfortunate, all things considered. Coffee, right now. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment, I'm dizzy. What day is it? Heal everyone for 400. Just trying to gain some weight from cherries, apparently. I mean, sure. You up everyone's MP? Delish. Okay. get rid of these ads somehow. I don't have many in the, much in the way of uh, hit all the spells. Okay. 
heal more. Okay, Cherry. Okay, if I can finish it with her, please. Yes, it is enough. And he's down. Don't worry, he's not hurt at all. He can't just he just can't get back up from that position. Right. As if that isn't some kind of excuse. And we're done. Level 10. Cool. Everyone got all the experience. We got a bunch of items. Hmm, I don't see Lance anywhere. I don't think he would just leave us like this, though. He has to be nearby. Now that we're finished here, we should head to Whitefall Town through the Crystal Caverns. Uh, why? I'll explain on the way, but we need to start heading in that direction soon. So, yeah. <laughs> Found the axe, allows the party to cut down small trees which block paths. We found beef, soft wood, and lanky roots. Uh, I skipped a thing there. Used cut. And for each of these, you cut down. Not every one, but a lot of them you actually get things for. Gaia's bow may stun targets, boost the power of Earth skills. Alright. Copper key, iron ore, and a red jacket. So I think on that note, we're going to head back. Uh, I'm not going to fight anything as I go through. We're just going to grab everything that we can get now. Gash Nuts, Lanky Roots, and Gash Club. Um... Oh, I never opened up the other chest. What am I doing? Some of you are probably starting to freak out right there. Use the copper key we just got. Keys on the lock stuff. To get the berserk skill, honeycomb, and a lemon. Alright, nothing more over here. And there's a tree we can cut down here. I will not be doing it though. I will not be going through there. Because it leads somewhere that we're not supposed to be yet. They expect you to just keep walking on, and this will actually lead you a couple screens into the next area, which I don't want to do, but I'll show it off once we get there. Now we're going to head back to town. Back to Greenwood. Chop down all the trees, all the shrubberies. We got Amber, as well as Cloud Burst, wets all foes and allies. Which is good if you're fighting fire enemies. Too bad you get it after that fire area, because of course you do. Oh, that's one place we can go. Come up here. We found a treasure. Beef, pineapple, and soft drink. And there's an egg over there if only we could reach it, but we can't currently. Oh, actually, can we go up here? We can. I got the egg. Kidnapped from its family. How sad. Sushi and ham. And that's everything we can do here. That's cool. That's actually really cool. So, stat items. Let's increase our HP. Uh, our magic attack. Magic Defense, MP, Regular Defense, and we're going to keep the rest of that for the moment. Okay, so we have a quest up here we can turn in. I think it was you? Yes, finally! Nom 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 nom. So we got the Pocket Clock, randomly cast Slowdown between turns, Spring Spring, and chain link. 
collects a bunch of these to make a chain. Cool. So we still need paper talismans and silk for that. Okay. Um... Forgot to equip the healing one. Whoops. I can wait. So we still need glass, which we can buy or we can just get in the next area. The gang's all here. Hey, something's moving around in those bushes! Do they see me? I suppose it's safe for me to come out now. That crazy green-haired girl seems to have stopped attacking people for no reason. Matt, you're a disgrace. You were slain by a child and left Natalie in the wilderness to die. If you don't want her, then I'll have her instead. Uh, Lance, you didn't exactly help in any way. At all. We thought you might have left us for good. Plus, I can take care of myself. Guys, shut up. I think I found the entrance to the Crystal Caverns. We need to go through here. Is why is she telling us what to do now? Did she threaten you or are you afraid of her? I'm the main character, get used to it. I shall humor you for now then, little girl. Let's see what you're trying to where you're trying to lead us. And Lance is just fine with that. Just as of then. Yeah. So guys, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy IV, we're gonna be moving on to the Crystal Caverns. Yeah, we're already done with the first area of the game. Each of them should probably take around three episodes, that's my estimate at least. It really depends on how long I take doing battles and things, but we'll figure it all out. So guys, I'll see you guys next time.